Okay, excuse me, folks, but you know we're like a kid in a candy store here. I mean, this is this is eye candy. Everything's eye candy, even the the runway marker. Let's see if we can get a better. Uh, Okay, this is uh, runway 13 right and 31 left. My friend Courtney taught me how to do this years ago. I see one 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 way is in the opposite direction than the other. In other words, one lands on 3-1, one on one the other direction is 1-3. They're 180 degrees apart. Here's how you do it. You take the 130, 13 stands for 130 degrees magnetic, add 200, you get 330, and then you subtract 20, and you get 310. Do it the same way around, 310 minus 100, or 200, is uh, 1 twin, uh, and then you add uh, 20 on. Uh, at 20 on you get 130. Neat little trick that pilots use to uh, figure uh, reciprocal courses. Am I having fun? Oh god. I hope it ain't raining tomorrow. I mean most of it's inside but they got a, a Connie and they got a uh, I think they got the old US Air Force One 707 there that could have been the one that JFK was on. I don't know. Uh, hold on a minute. We got something coming. Okay, uh, I've got I got pictures of this from the uh, <laughs> Yahoo airliner prop liner groups pictures from inside. That's a DC-2. Yes, a DC-2. The forerunner of the DC-3. It's pretty small. It's smaller than a DC-3. It's pretty cramped in there. I've got pictures at home of it inside. But, uh, they called it the Lindbergh Line. TWA. Till Howard Hughes, I don't know who had it. A lot of people had their hands in the pot. But it was Howard Hughes's airline for a long time. He wouldn't sell it. He was a stubborn old guy. Uh, 75. Yeah, blue 294, depart 4, heading 335, back to Fred Downwind. I just saw him take off. I think 335 out of Fort, except with 294. Okay, send and maintain one zero thousand, ten thousand. Okay, send and maintain one zero thousand, taxi seven five. Yeah, let's get thirty six zero three is checking out level four thousand. Come on, thirty six zero three, set up third traffic. I can't tell if this is the tower or approach or departure control. There's so many of them, there's about three or four. Yeah, blue two ninety four, descend and maintain one zero thousand, ten thousand. Sounds like a problem. Redwood 744, reduce speed to 210, then descend to my train to 7000. Redwood 210, and then down to 7000, Redwood 744. Sounds like approach control. Redwood 744, contact approach 133.65 today. 3365, Redwood 744, okay. That must be center. That must be Seattle Center. Horizon Air 387, descend and maintain a 1, 0, 10,000. What's 0,000? Raise it 3. Kimmore 3603, fly ahead and 250. 2503, Kimmore 3603. Yeah, it's Seattle Center. Are you listening, George? Does it bring back fond memories? 
Let's see if we can find approach control. Our battery's gone dead. 3,800 overcast. Temperature 16, 2.13, altimeter 2983. ILS runway 13 right approach in use. Landing and departing runway 13 right and runway 13 left. Aircraft landing runway 13 left are reminded to fly the copy. Simultaneous approaches in use to SeaTac and Boeing airports. Expect traffic above you on final. Notice Chairman, taxiway Alpha close between Alpha 8 intersection and Alpha 9 are just more information. This is Alpha 8 close. Okay, I'm picking up SeaTac. Get down to 5,000 now, Cactus 75. Jeff with 294, we're just speed to 190. 1.9 or 0.9 is tower frequency. Yeah, this is tower because he just told the guy to contact ground. Doctor C6 whiskey pop as Seattle uh, Seattle uh, tower. Uh, runway 16 uh, left. Uh, taxi via taxiway um, Tango to hold short runway 16 center. Yep, this is it's Seattle Tower. Look what we got over off. here, folks. Let's have a deep That's a fancy uh, amateur. Uh, Boy, there's a lot of eye candy. Right. <laughs> Eyes candy. Eye candy, ear candy. Uh, Boy, there's a lot of eye candy. 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 Boy, there's a lot of eye Okay, this, 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 is, this is Renton. <laughs> but I believe that's, that's the field where Boeing builds the uh, commercial aircraft. So, I mean, we got so many towers around here. <laughs> I can't hear the VOR identifier. I'm a little too far away. Contact, you have information, Alpha. Point one three, altimeter two nine or eight three. ILS runway one three right approach in use. Landing and departing runway one three right and runway one three left. Aircraft landing runway one three left are reminded to fly the copy. Simultaneous approaches in use to SeaTac and Boeing airports. Expect traffic above you on final. Notice chairman, taxiway Alpha closed between Alpha eight intersection and Alpha nine intersection. Actually Alpha eight closed. Actually, Alpha closed between Alpha 2 intersection and Alpha 3 intersection. Use caution for barricades and equipment. Three inches standing water on terminal ramp. Runway 13 right, stop far lights out of service at Taxiway Zulu. Train 150 foot operating three quarter mile southwest approach in runway 13 right. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Papa. Boeing Tower Information Papa 2253 Zulu, wind 160 at 6, visibility 6, okay, this is light rain, <coughs> mist, chilling 3100 broken. This 3, is not Boeing Tower. Wow, well, it, it's the uh, information, <sighs> which you usually have on the VOR frequency, but I can't hear in a VOR identifier. But this is, this is Boeing, we're right here at Boeing Field. Simultaneous approaches in use to SeaTac and Boeing airports. Expect traffic above you on final. 
Northwest German, check we also close between Alpha and General Grace to the bonus, be red, put him on heavy. Last to 633, flooding one in his area, four from Bugney, call Bugney at about 3,200, clear down left, one six five approach. Call Bugney at or above 3,200, clear for the ILS, one six right, Alaska, 633. Last to 76, speed east, speed to 170. 76, welcome. Last to 327, get out of the first, speed east, speed to 170, then maintain 6,000. Southern West City, that's 7,000, 6,000, Alaska, 327. It sounds like, uh, Seattle approach. Head 210, Alaska, 76, flying 090. 76, 090. Alaska, 76, so we're heading 130, then we'll drive to 166. 76, 130 for the localizer, 69. Alaska 327, turn 10 degrees left, maintain 5,000. 10 left, maintain uh, 5,000, Alaska 327. Alaska 633, verify, already gave you an approach plan. Alaska 633, home is clear, fly left, 16 right. Okay, that's definitely approach, because you said uh, contact tower. A lot of traffic, doesn't there, at SeaTac? One right after the other. Let's see if we can find a pro. I mean, park. Wait, 130, total localizer, 136 right, Alaska 327. Alaska 76, maintain 17, off the 5 BME, contact tower at the 5 BME, 119.0. 76, we'll go on 99. Just in case you're curious, the localizer. Alaska 327, just gonna maintain 4,000. 4, Alaska 327. Alaska 327 is already The localizer is part of the ILS landing system. Landing system. Uh, it basically gives, uh, it's like a VOR, which gives directional information en route. Only a localizer is just like the name sounds, it's localized to the airport. And it gives directional information. Uh, there's a needle. Well, now it's all computerized, but uh, it used to be a needle that swing left to right. And if you're right on the localizer beam, the needle will be in the center. And then they also have the glide scope. Glide, glide slope. Uh, transmitter and receiver on the plane and uh, there's a horizontal bar and you keep that right in the middle well it's it'll either swing up or down it's horizontal you keep that right in the middle and you're on the glide path 
Well, there you go. I would have loved to have gotten my instrument rating. Okay. Okay, we're back to SeaTac Tower. Just let's see what's going to happen. There'll either be a takeoff or a landing, because tower controls both takeoffs and landings. All right, we check. for takeoff. Okay, folks. I'm going to have to find a place to stay tonight. Uh, enough. Guys, I have 396, Shuttle Tower, only 16 left, minus a wave, tropical cross. 1604, This is a neat little radio because it has all bands. I get weather bands, I get the aviation bands, and I don't know what not. It's, it's, it covers a whole range of frequencies. I can't transmit, but uh, yeah, it's a neat little little, little rig. That's Chief, we're pulling heavy. Turn left in November and turn back down. Point seven on Bravo. Uh, I'll be dreaming about flying tonight. Good night. Good night.